this is one of my very favorite places on earth. It has lost our home. I'm lucky enough to be a kitten foster. And that's how I came to hear about a dog named Cypress, a pit bull who's an extraordinary dog. All the staff here adore him, but he has been here over a year. It is Pitbull Awareness Month. So we wanted to talk about some of the myths and dispel some of the myths yes. because Cypress is a great dog. Yes. Tell me about it. <laughs> he's a very sweet dog. As you can see here, he's with our behaviorist, Katrina. Um, so yeah, he's been with us for over a year. He's five years old. Um, he loves, loves, loves people, loves to play. He is just a big lover, honestly. And I mean, as you can see, he's a big dog. <laughs> he's a pretty big dog. He's stocky, and um, he's just, he's a pit bull, so he just gets that bad rap, you know? Like, he really gets that bad rap, and so we don't get much interest um, from people very much, to be honest. And so Let's talk about that, because pit bulls do tend to stay in kennels longer, and people believe that they're an aggressive breed, that it's not a family dog, but dog experts have said that pit bull temperament Look at, he loves the camera. <laughs> hey, you don't upstage me. You don't upstage me, Cypress. Um, experts have said that their temperament is right up there with golden retrievers in terms of being a family dog. It's true. Honestly, when it, when it comes to just dog behavior in general, um, it's very dependent on the individual dog itself. So it, all the myths that you hear about pit bulls, it's... It's not just pit bulls. I mean, there's poodles out there, there's golden retrievers out there, there's all kinds of other breeds out there that, you know, that bite, that are aggressive, that aren't friendly. And so, yeah, I mean, there are, there's a, I think it was like an American Temperament Society test out there, and pit bulls score higher than a lot of other dogs that you may think are, you know, friendly or, or you know, non-aggressive. Cypress has been here over a year, and I wanted to talk about that because I learned from you, actually, Tiana, that um, dogs can really deteriorate if they're in this kind of a situation over time. What happens to a dog like Cypress who's here just way too long? Yeah, it's really sad, actually. <laughs> it's really, really sad. We have weekly meetings and we're like, oh, so-and-so is deteriorating and we need to figure out a new solution. Oh, look at um, this guy, he's real mean. He loves it, he's real he loves mean. it, look at that real smile. Dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, they get depressed. I mean, they're, they're like us, they're like humans. They're individuals and they have different preferences, they have different needs and um, they get depressed and sometimes they stop, they stop eating, sometimes they just stop really showing showing, you know, liveliness and energy, and they get sad, they get really sad, and so it can affect their physical health, it can affect their emotional health, and um, that's why we try as much as we can to, you know, have, do fun things with them and get enrichment, you know, activities going with well, them. Well, I know you had a party, you had a pool party for Cypress, because here at Lost <laughs> Our Home, they have tried, because the staff loves you, Cypress, you know they do, and they've tried everything to find a home, including throwing a pool party. Yes, we threw a pool party over the summer because it was hot. And we're like, we need to get these dogs outside. And Cypress was the one out of, I think we had about 10 dogs that we had a little pool party with. He had the best time. Um, but yeah, he, we put sunglasses on him and we were like, wow, he one looks cool in them and he didn't want to take them off. So he was walking around the shelter with glasses on. And um, before we go, who would be a good family for Cypress? Yes. Because he needs a home. He needs a special home. So he definitely needs to be in a home where he's the only pet. Um, he's reactive to other dogs, but he loves, loves, loves people. Um, he needs a home where, obviously, he's, he's bigger, he's energetic, he plays kind of rowdy, and so um, a home where there aren't small or younger children, he, he, he'll do great with, you know, teens or an adult-only home. Um, okay, so an adult-only home, yep. teenagers, no other pets. Because yes. he can be around other dogs, but he loves people. People. He loves people, and he he doesn't do great around other dogs, and so we you know full try disclosure to, try to he's, keep he, him. He's, yeah. he does he can be very afraid of other dogs, but he's a people person. He's a people person, yes. And he's liter he is deteriorating in here. So if you have room for him or you know somebody, what's a good way to get in touch with yeah, you? Yeah, so if you go to our website, he's um, his profile is at lostourhome.org, just under Adopt a Dog. You can schedule a meet and greet to come see him. You can just swing by and come see him, but he has been waiting for his forever family for so long, and we just want him to find that perfect family.
sooner rather than later. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And I know you got a big fundraiser November. November 16th, we have our biggest fundraiser of the year, our Sid Stay Brunch. It's just a time where we can all get together and celebrate the amazing things we've been doing for our homeless pets, our pet owners in the community that need help. And we're going to have dogs there. There's going to be a live auction. There's going to be so much happening. It's just a big party and it's and a we'll lot just, of fun. We'll just end on this. Does he, can he follow a command, Katrina? Oh, yes, He's, absolutely. All right, I'm going to have you show off. All right. Hey,